Hello, I'm Mary Beth Quinn, a mixed media artist from Nashville, Tennessee. And today I'm going to be talking about practicing the creative process because it's something that has become very important to my methods. As of late, I've really had to hunker down and get good at practicing. So before I do that, I'm going to talk about the materials that I'm using in this video today. The Scotch Delicate Surface Tape, um, a wedge to move paint around, and of course a brush I don't have shown here, but the Tempera Paint Sticks by Shuttle Art, um, and a number of Liquitex uh, soft body paints. There's some yellow orange that was thalo green before, and this is quinacridone burnt orange. And I'm also using some acrylic inks. All of these will be listed in the description below with all the colors that I use and various details about it. But um, here I'm off to a start. These are just paintings that I, I tape off a piece of mixed media paper and I just experiment. I practice at just being in the process. They're not meant for sale. They're not meant to be beautiful. They're just meant to try new movements. You know, we get habitual with the way we move with a paintbrush, um, just like any other habit we create. And so I, I try moving in different ways. I try thinking in different ways. And mostly I try thinking about my process in different ways. Because one thing I have noticed is that like many artists, I think I look at what I produce and go, oh, I, I don't have talent for this. Or on good days, I might say, oh, I do have talent for this. When really, now I see the necessity to really think of it more like we might look at someone that, be, that becomes a pilot or a doctor. We know that regardless of their talent, they've got a lot of years of learning and practice that has to go into that vocation and skill. And why don't I think of art in the same way? So I've really had to work with the way that I think about it, how I approach it, the devotion that I have to it, um, and really um, practice thinking in new ways because this is a necessity. If you really listen to uh, successful artists, they will talk about the amount of time that they spend just honing their craft. And if we're deciding within the first year of painting that we don't have the talent for it, that's that's really way too early. <laughs> so this is the box um, where I'm just sort of going through and showing all of the practice paintings that I do. Um, and I keep them in this box. I go through them regularly and I just think about different marks. I think about what I learned. I think about what I like, where I want to go next. And um, I, I just keep producing because that's what practicing is. And, you know, in the past, I have fallen in the same trap as a lot of artists do thinking, well, I, this is actually, you know, I'm trying to make a living here. This is a waste of materials. It's a waste of time. It's costly. But you know, someone who is studying to be a doctor, let's say, they know that there is a, a major investment they're going to make in learning those skills. And there's a major investment of money and time. And they, they go through years of training for that. And why should I expect this, this vocation, this adventure that I'm on to be any different? So, um, here is another um, avenue in which you can practice. This is my sketchbook. Um, I have the description of it and probably a link in, in um, the notes below this video. But this is a great place to practice. It's a book, hardcover book, but it doesn't have a spine. So it folds out like an accordion and you can really just make one long painting of experiments or separate ones like I have done here. And it's really easy to look at and take stock of. And when you turn it back over, um, you find that you have all blank pages again. <laughs> so it's a really great thing to invest in. Another one is that I always have a notebook on hand. I'll keep notes about materials I've used, 
Um, I'll keep notes about um, paintings that I've done, my thoughts about the process, my, my feelings about the process. Those are all very important to my development as an artist. So thanks for watching today. And I really hope that you will pick up uh, one of my free guides for the Art Buyer's Guide to Unleashing Magic in Your Life. And it just talks about how we can use art to um, increase our intentionality with our dreams and our aspirations. And also I'm having a painting giveaway. You can sign up for that on my website. I will be drawing on Monday, I believe it is. So come visit me on my website uh, at MeribethQuinnArt.com. And thanks so much, as always, for watching. I hope that you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks.